Hello everyone, welcome to a tutorial video. So I think I know what you guys are thinking. Um, what happened to this guy's channel? Why did he delete all his videos? Where's everything? Basically, I hated everything about my channel. It was so cringy. And I, I wanted a fresh start. So I'm going to be doing like tutorials and stuff on here now. Maybe some gameplay with friends. I don't know. I need to find an editor to actually, I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna. S so today we're going to be um, programming these keybind lights. You will need the regular Atlas key, um, KD handler right here. This is like the only one that could work with this. And then there's the light system. So what you want to do first? So you have this here, right? You take the light system and drag it into starter GUI and keep it there. The KD handler stays in workspace and what you want to do is you could duplicate this um, just be like bop 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 and you gotta and there's like I'll show you so this is CPSS and then you can name this one CPSSA so it's like you'll see what it does and then you name the other one CPSSA so this is CPSS CPSSA CPSS CPSSA and if you want to do that like if you want to keep duplicating this you can I guess grab grab these two so it's still in a pattern so CPSS CPSSA and then it's going to be again CPSS CPSSA so you got to keep it kind of like in a pattern Unless, if you want to, like, be bold and just, like, keep one side the same as CPSS, and then you could do the other one, C CPSSA. Um, right, and when you want to get it working, you group them, control G, or whatever, I don't know, command G, whatever, like, you, I don't know, for you Mac users, and you name the model M lights capital M and L right here capital M L lights with an S boom and you gotta make sure go in light system you open that up and you see a folder that says admins you go into there and you see user values those are the admins of who can control the lights so make sure you have your name in one of these values so you can actually control it. And you can add your friends as well that you trust that are actually good LCs, I guess. And yeah, you can, you can just test them in game. Press C to strobe to get everything working. And yeah, they work. It's pretty sick. So that works. There's the coloring. Colors work. Effects. Okay, so you see how this is this is CPSS and this is CPSA. See they like they go against each other like the movements. So like that's that's like the reason why they're like different names like CPSS and CPSA. And when you do this effect, it turns on each one, like CP CPSS, CPSA. It's pretty sick. So that's the lights. I hope you guys got that down. And now we're going to do this is like the ease th this is so easy. With the Purus, you literally don't have to do much. So you open up the Purus and you see these components, right? All these um folders. You drag them out of of that into the of the Purus group into the workspace. Now there is already like a script that you can read. It's like a um, like instructions thing that you can read. But I mean, if you like to watch a video on how to do stuff, this is good, I guess. And you can remove the thumbnail camera as well. So in components, you have LEDs, the main LEDs, secondary LEDs, and PARs, and the crowd light. And you really don't have to do much. So you go into LED, you grab the panel, and you move it. 
and you just um, make a design out of it. Let's turn this around. Just make like a uh, basic design that's pretty. It's actually like really cool how easy this is. I love it. For those that don't like using neon, Furious is great because you really don't have to do much, and it's surface gooey. It's amazing. Mess that up. So yeah, um, little easy design right there. And then if you want, you can do outlines. Just secondary. Click this. I don't care if it's off center. I'm just doing this quick. And yeah, and then you just keep you keep them in the components. So when you oh, if you of course use the crab light. Stretch that out. Bring that up. And so here's a little tip to make it to make the um to make the light look more realistic, like it's actually coming from the LEDs. You can basically let me turn this off real quick. Let me turn the grid off real quick. You can basically um just like tilt it a bit. It looks really cool. Just go like that. And you lower it. Boom. So it looks like it's like actually coming off from the thing. Make this invisible. Oh, that's ugh. I don't like how this surface light looks. So 100, range 60. Yeah. That looks better, I guess. There. Yeah. So that looks cool. So it's just like expanding. Cool. Um, turn this off. And you gotta make sure that's it already is cannot collide. Hydra's heckin' awesome for that. But yeah, shout out uh, Hydra for making this so easy for like um, beginner devs or whatever that want to get um, decent tech on their stages. This is great. I love what you're doing with this. So yeah, they work. You see, do pulse out, boom boom, strobe works, random works, pulse in, pulse out, sick. Strobe, pulse, random. I don't really like how the random looks. It's kind of, I don't know, odd to me. But I think if you're, I don't know, if you're good at scripting or like to script a lot, you can just edit the, sh edit the random strobe in a script or whatever. I don't know where it is. I haven't done it before. But yeah, this is what the pars do. It's just, they just, I guess, roll um, decoration lighting for a stage. I used it once at um, Bavi Darkness Arises on the statues and on the dancer cages. It was actually pretty nice. I loved it. So these pars are actually really epic. You, you should definitely use them for decoration. If you're building a architectural stage or just if you just want to light up the DJ or light up something in the background, it's really cool. So I think that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you guys, and I wish you... New developers luck in whatever you're doing. Thank you.